Rich, this started with you. You told us the story about your goofy candidate who went out to the interview and never called you back and then gave you some dumb reason after you chased him down, right? Okay. So I posted the video. Uh, this guy, Paul, I think I told you last week, he replied and he said he does the same thing. He said he, he tells the, the candidates they have to get back to him. It's really important. Okay. 10% do, and he has to chase the rest down. Are you with me, Rich? You following? You're I muted, can't Rich. hear you. Okay, turn on your mic. Wake up. Oh my God, Jesus Christ. Yes. Well, hey, as long as Paul is uh, on my side, that's all that matters. Paul so. is on your side. Okay. <laughs> so I took Paul's comment and I posted it as a separate posting. And there were lots of replies, more than the video ever got, right? And they were all saying, we don't have to call the interviewer back. There's no reason. And now, just right now, I'm going to read a few of those replies, okay? She says, first, this is Tannis. It's a false assumption to assume that if a candidate doesn't call you after the interview, it, it that means that she's not interested, okay? That's her number one point, okay? And she says, the first step for the recruiter shouldn't be to ha hassle the uh candidate it should be get in touch with the employer and get their feedback for the next few steps okay that's tannis joe here's joe he's real smart he says i follow up with recruiters the same day okay if they get me a client interview if they're just putting me in touch with the internal recruiter for a screen a screen i don't have to get back to the recruiter i don't have to tell them and anything okay and the third one is uh sally okay <laughs> Here's, sally says i don't call the recruiter after the interview the ball is in the recruiter's court candidates have to do a crazy number a crazy number of interviews to get an offer these days and they're too exhausted to be chasing down the recruiters with follow-ups she said i've done 77 interviews so far do you expect me to call the recruiter <laughs> <laughs> no because it's a shitty candidate <laughs> After each one, okay. Now, I'm sorry, everyone. I know I dragged this one yes, out. You did I was shocked by those replies. Are those yeah. people stupid? You're, you're getting them an interview, and they don't want to have a good relationship with you. Who wants to talk first, buddy? Yeah, that's that, that's uh, that's ridiculous. Uh, first of all, they're all wrong. <laughs> yeah, I mean. The only one that I mean, listen, you should talk. You can talk to the client first; it's great. But then, if they ask you, "Hey, what the candidate thinks," you have nothing to tell them. So, but it is ideal if you can. If the client gets me feedback first, and the candidate doesn't call me back, I don't chase them. If I already know, if you know it's not good, at least, right? Okay, but if Rich, it's good, the issue for these dummies. Good, okay? I'm calling them dummies. Okay, it, what they what's the what should we say to them to come? I I argued with all of them online, but if you were going to argue with these people. What would how would you explain why it's important to call the recruiter after the interview? I um, I don't know because the recruiter is the one that's kind of your agent, the mouthpiece to help sell you to the client, tell them you're excited. To Here's what I told them, just like you said, the yeah. client is going to want to know if the candidate's interested, and secondly, you want to know if there was any unanswered questions from the interview. So when you talk to the client. You can say, you know what? She's got these concerns after she left the interview. This is what she's wondering about, okay? 